Now, while COVID-19 is the current health crisis in Minnesota, state officials working uh, on another crisis as well. That is suicide in schools and how to prevent them. ABC6 News reporter Jacqueline Harold met with those who are uh, using make-believe to save lives. They will be interacting in a role play situation with a virtual student. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, nearly 800 Minnesotans died by suicide in 2017. Currently uh, in Minnesota, suicide's the eighth leading cause of a death. And the second leading cause among young people and young adults. 15 to 34. In an attempt to combat those numbers, MDH is partnering with the Minnesota Department of Education to bring Cognito to Minnesotan schools, better resourcing those closest to students. This project uh, through our legislature, we're Working with the Department of Ed is allowing us to provide this at-risk simulation for all schools, districts, school staff, educators across Minnesota. Through a virtual simulation, educators and other staff members are placed in digital scenarios much like what their students might be experiencing. And they are able to, through prompts in the system, learn how to say what they might want to say with that student to help them through a situation where they're experiencing some mental distress. Suicide prevention coordinator Stephanie Downey says when students have someone they can trust, they tend to open up. And when they do, the Cognito at-risk training project will help their teachers, principals, and counselors to be ready. We just want to provide as many tools and resources that we can. Our mission with this is to create uh, communities of leaders that are able to protect and maintain and promote the health of all of our students. In Rochester, Jacqueline Harold, ABC 6 News, good morning. The Cognito at-risk training project is an online program for educators teaching students K through 12. It allows them to better recognize those warning signs of mentally distressed students and then get them help.